Late scratch of Murphy foils Baker's plan for altered lineup Dusty Baker thought he had figured out his preferred lineup when the Nationals are facing a left-handed starter. One that included T.R.E.A. Turner leading off Michael A. Taylor in center field and Daniel Murphy shifting to first base. But then Murphy had to be scratched from the lineup for tonight's second half opener against the Pirates and Baker's master plan had to be thrown out the window. Murphy was scratched due to general leg soreness, according to the Nationals. Club officials didn't sound particularly concerned about it. Believing the veteran infielder simply could use a day off after participating in this week's All-Star Game and accompanying events in San Diego. The NL's leading hitter at the break with a .348 batting average, Murphy had played in 87 of the Nationals' first 90 games this season, including all four games last weekend in New York against the Mets. He flew to San Diego after the game Sunday evening, took part in All-Star festivities Monday, played six innings and got three at-bats in Tuesday's game, then flew back east on Wednesday. With Murphy scratched, Clint Robinson will now play first base against the Pirates, batting eighth against left-hander Francisco Liriano. Taylor, originally slated to bat seventh, will move up to the no. Two spot, with Jason Worth moving down to the no. Three spot vacated by Murphy. Baker had reason for the original lineup card he submitted and still appears to plan on using a similar batting order when his team is facing a lefty for the foreseeable future. With Ryan Zimmerman on the disabled list with a strained rib cage muscle, Baker is going with something of a modified platoon at first base, Robinson against right-handers, Murphy against left-handers, even though he bats from the left side of the plate himself. That also opens the door for Turner to lead off and play second base as he did in Sunday's first half finale against the Mets, who started lefty Steven Matz. Well, I've got more speed, Baker said, explaining what he liked about this particular lineup before Murphy was scratched. Hopefully, we can combat Liriano, who's a very tough left-hander. And I've got Murphy at first. We have to do what we have to do, especially till Zim gets back. And tomorrow we'll probably have a little different lineup. But I like my team. And I like the different combination of things I can do out there. With right-handers Jarrett Cole and Chad Cull slated to pitch this weekend for Pittsburgh. The Nationals are likely to sit both Turner and Taylor, with Ben Revere moving back into center field in the leadoff spot. But once they face another left-hander, Baker is comfortable using his original lineup from tonight. That includes Murphy at first base, a position he has played 193 times in the majors but only three times this year. I haven't seen him play that much, Baker said. He told me he had probably 100-something games over there at first, which is more than anybody else that I have other than probably Robinson. So with the fact we have a left-handed starter today, we'll probably continue to do that because left-handers don't really affect Murphy as much as other people. So we'll probably continue to do that until we get whole and healthy. Strasburg dominating early once again, Nationals lead 5-1, Steven Strasburg skipped the All-Star game so he could put all of his efforts into pitching tonight's second half opener. So far, the right-hander is putting that extra preparation to good use. Strasburg has tossed four scoreless innings so far against the Pirates, allowing only one batter to reach base via walk. It's the third straight start in which he hasn't allowed a hit through his first four innings on the mound. Francisco Liriano has been nearly as sharp himself, retiring the first nine nationals he faced before surrendering a leadoff single to T.R.E.A. Turner in the bottom of the fourth. Michael A. Taylor's subsequent walk put the Nats in business, but Liriano got out of the jam inducing comebackers from both Jason Worth and Bryce Harper to end the fourth with the game still scoreless. Though he elected not to pitch in Tuesday night's Midsummer Classic in his hometown of San Diego out of precaution for the upper back strain that not long ago landed him on the disabled list. Strasburg has pitched exceptionally well of late. He entered tonight's start having allowed only two hits and 13 and two-thirds innings since returning from the injury and he has only extended that run tonight. Seeking to become the first NL pitcher to begin a season 13-0 since 1912. Strasburg pitched around a one-out walk of David Freeze by getting Andrew McCutcheon to ground into a 6-4-3 double play to end the top of the first. He then retired the side in the top of the second on seven pitches, the top of the third on 12 pitches and the top of the fourth on 12 pitches, the Pirates failing to record a hit along the way. There were some nice plays in the field to aid Strasburg's cause. 
most notably two plays by Danny Espinosa in the top of the fourth in which he went to his right to snag grounders to the hole and then fired across the diamond for the out. Those plays may prove important by the end of the night if Strasburg can keep this up. Update After four dominating innings by both starters, it's only fitting both teams would score in the fifth. The Pirates struck first, turning Starling Mart's single and stolen base plus Jordy Mercer's soft liner past a lunging Clint Robinson into the night's first run and ending Strasbourg's no-hit bid. This was, by the way, the third straight start in which Strasbourg carried a no-hitter into at least the fifth inning. The Nationals struck right back in the bottom of the inning, though. With consecutive singles by Wilson Ramos, Espinosa and Robinson to tie the game 1-1 to -1 after 5. Update 2, well, things have escalated quickly here. The Nets just scored four runs in the bottom of the seventh thanks to some aggressive base running by Espinosa, sloppy Pirates defense and a two-run blast by Michael A. Taylor, put that all together. And you've got a 5-1 lead by the home team, with Strasburg continuing to cruise as he returns to the mound for the top of the eighth on 90 pitches. Daniel Murphy scratched from Nationals lineup versus Pirates Daniel Murphy will have to wait at least one extra day to resume his MVP level season after the All-Star break. Murphy was originally penciled in at first base and batting third for Friday night's game against the Pirates but was a late scratch. The Nationals said Murphy, baseball's leading hitter with a .348 batting average, is dealing with general leg soreness and he is day to day. It will be the seventh start he's missed this season. Clint Robinson replaced Murphy at first base in the lineup and will bat 8th against Pirates left-hander Liriano. Jason Wirth dropped from 2nd to 3rd in the batting order and Michael A. Taylor climbed to 2nd from 7th. Taylor is in the lineup over Ben Revere because Liriano is lefty. T.R.E.A. Turner will lead off and play 2nd base in his 3rd big league start this season.